Hey guys, what is up? This is Silent Boss here. We have a new video. Uh, this time, changing it up even a bit further than the last video, I am going to be playing as a runner for the first time in my channel. So, as I said on my introduction video, I don't really play uh, runner. Uh, it doesn't. I don't enjoy it as much as playing as a corporation. Uh, but today I'm gonna be showing you a bit of a, one of the only decks of runner that I understand and that I can probably play right. And this is the uh, the deck by Whiteblade111. I'm gonna move my camera a little bit. Uh, as you can see, Whiteblade111. Uh, he made this deck uh, placing first at the event NANPC in Boston. And well, pr Pretty much just uses uh, Sahia, Sahaya, Sadaji. Uh, that pretty much has when you run a central server, uh, HQ R&D specifically, you get one credit per card uh, that you access. So this is a very fast deck. It's a deck about uh, entering uh, HQ and R&D and getting multi access up. So right now we're going to be playing um, on Jinteki, of course. And I'm going to be showing you a little bit of this deck that I think it's really good. Uh, it's not as easy to figure out, but I think it's really amazing and it's fun. So... Let's set up the match and let's see if somebody joins right away. If not, you know the drill. I'm going to cut and we'll be back when someone joins the game. So, I will see you in a little bit. Bye bye. Hello! So, that took only a couple of seconds. We have Tang as the corporation. And let's ask for permission first. Important. And all right, let's start this. So as I said, this is a deck about fast running, focusing on R&D, HQ, keeping the pressure up. And let's see. So the runner starts with some protection on HQ, as he should. And he's playing as the Earth Station. Okay, so this is a very tricky uh, deck for me but let's see let so let's run HQ that will cost me credit and we have a tree line so let's get rid of this let's run R&D now let's draw two cards and let's install I am between the twinning or Ches Chesva, I think it's pronounced. Let's go with the twinning. Then the Chesva and then end the run. Okay, so this this was actually not a good drawing cards, set of cards. I should have mulliganed in search for a boomerang, now that I think about it. Of course, I can still draw it. As normal like that and I will probably use uh, Chesva to trash a card let's see if I get something else okay I don't know if inside job or boomerang Let's go with inside job. Let's run an R H Q because I am suspecting that uh, an agenda is there and not really. All right, let's end the turn and see what else. I was hoping that maybe I could use the Chesva to to trash a card that would have given me a twinning token. Uh, 
So right now we, I think I need a bravado to get my credits back up, but it's gonna be hard. So let's draw first. Let's do credit, credit. And let's install this. Uh, I need a card. What is this card called? Uh, is it? It's Paladin. I need a Paladin. A Paladin, a paladin would make my life so much easier right now. Maybe not really. Okay, so let's trash the other Hermes. I don't need it. I need credits right now. And I think we will just run R&D with some... Okay, so probably an agenda is coming. Followed by a nice... Right. So right now, my best bet is to actually go to R&D and use the credits to... Uh, yeah, let's use the credits to from Chesva to trash a card. Okay, I got I get to steal a card. Let's return this one. Let's get some credits. All right, yeah, this deck is very lacking on on credits because it's trusting that you will uh, run on the the central servers to gain that money. Okay, I don't think I will use the pinhole. Well, actually, I think I can. No, I don't think I can. Well, I'm thinking of using it on archives to trash the card on server one. So in that case, I probably need to trash this. Which, since I already have two ice breakers on my hand, that might have been incorrect. And let's throw. Uh, oh, so actually the twinning got got backed out. I have another copy. But yeah, this is bad. This is bad. That's the card that I was hoping. At least I didn't waste my pink hole because that was actually an agenda and I would have been able to trash that. So let's see. Okay, this is a great start. Right. Okay, so next turn I will have more money, but I need a boomerang now. It's, it is very unfortunate that a Paladin hasn't come out since this is a 40 deck, a uh, 40 card deck. So it's not that rare to see it, even on your first uh, drawing set of cards. And I haven't seen it, I've drawn almost half of my deck and it's not showing. So I'll get some stuff down, pretty much. I don't want another wall to wall here, exactly. And let's... Damn, well, that would have been a twinning token. I need more. All right. Oh my God. So I don't have multi accesses now. I mean, the, uh, the, those were a very good set of cards. All right, so. This is the only way to make money on this turn. I'm gonna lose three, but of course I'm gonna go past that and look at one card. <sighs> Making use of Docklands would have been amazing on this one. 
but I'm not sure if I that I could have gone past it past all of HQ Isis so a Ferris is coming I probably want to trash that Rashida right now so I will pay one to trash that and I will end my turn of course more Rashidas will come I think there's there's gonna be at least three of them and this card is actually making me pay, making it hard for me to to get stuff done so this is not good and there's the paladins I don't need two of them but there it is now I need the twinning once again to make use of the card Usually you want to do, use Paladin to install things like Hermes, Docklands, Icebreakers, the Boomerang, of course the Chesva, things like that, but it didn't happen in this match. This is a very tough, very losing match if I'm being honest. But hey, we're trying. And of course running tree line is going to be very expensive. Okay, so there's that. I don't need one of these. So let's install this. Let's make him uh, waste some credits on protection. No, I don't think so. Let's just trash the other paladin. And let's see, I can use the, the piloting credit on the next turn to install the the waking plant, but it's risky since it will delete one of my cards because I will suffer one one mid damage. So I can first install uh my Kurupira. But actually a boomerang would be quite nice. Okay, so I didn't get one boomerang. How much is this? I think we will have to keep going. Okay, so with this uh, set of cards, I'm hoping to actually draw a boomerang. And well, hope that it's hope that it's fine. Or a twinning, a twinning would be amazing, actually. Or both. I mean, if both co comes up, it's gonna be amazing. Okay. So let's use our daily cast first, then our paladin. Let's get that. Uh, let's use this with no credits and let's install this with this credit now I have a lot of economy this is the kind of combo that I was hoping on my first uh, couple of turns didn't happen and I think this is match yeah this is game a very bad set of starting cards I looked really lame for this <laughs> for this match, but that is a very, very uh, I don't, I don't want to say try hard, but a very tournament uh, competent deck, that, the one that he played and that I'm playing too. So this is the kind of match that you would have seen on the tournament. I should have mulliganed my first cards, but I wasn't paying attention. So let's jump straight to the next match and hope that we can do a little bit better. Hey, hello! Welcome to our second match with Laf Lifeline on uh, the corporation side. Uh, I'm asking for permission and okay, everything seems very fine. Let's do this. Alright, so... Okay, this is not a very good starting hand. And well, the sports... Uh, no, it's fine. 
I mean, I'm recording matches as they come. I don't, I don't discriminate them. I, like I don't choose what matches I I get to pick. I just play and whatever comes, it's on the video. So let's get this running. Okay, this is not a bad starting hand because I can of course do sure gamble then buy a bands. And there's that. Okay, so let's go to R&D. Let's draw two cards. Let's let's install Chesva. And I got ontological dependence. Okay, let's draw one card and let's let's install the Hermes. This was a very very good beginning. A lot of good luck. Uh, there to be honest And now I can use the credits from Chesva to trash cards He's protecting um, R&D Which is a, a Very it's a choice of course That you can take And it's probably the right one because now that I'm thinking of it probably he doesn't have anything on HQ or that's what He's leading me to, to think. Uh, so right here, I don't know what to do. I probably should look at some of these cards. What is this? Um, all right, so we have a moon pool. I better not forget that. And we have a spin doctor on server three. Uh, I'm not gonna trash it. The moon pool. Remove this asset from the game. Okay. So I'm guessing probably no agendas. Or oh, maybe server 2 was an agenda. Maybe server 2 was an agenda, actually. Uh, let's get the uh, Chesva. I'm not sure if I want that. Okay, let's run in server one and let's install a Kurapira. Okay, so we have a Mega Prix. Let's uninstall this. And let's search for a uh, Kurapira. I'm looking for my paladins still, or some drawing like Earthrise Hotel or something. Because drawing card by card, it's it's not gonna do me very good. All right, so server two is extremely protected. I need a uh, sure. Let's run R and D. Okay, so Jaguar Rundi, this is gonna be very hard. All right, so. So that's what we're going to say. Usually it's better to take the core damage. Don't be afraid of it. And now we can throw a pinhole trading. So I'm expecting another Jaguar on the. Or maybe. Oh, so the click is actually to avoid a tag. The tag is fine. Nothing to worry about. And it's actually on thread 4, so it counts from right now. Uh, forward, right? A Carmen uh, would be actually useful in this matchup. So I need to be on the lookout. That's a Manigarm. Okay, so I cannot 
you know, uninstall that. What does this do? Okay. So let's turn this back from HQ. He has to discard one. And let's see. What else is in here? A Dockland Pass would be amazing. That's not a Dockland Pass. Uh, I guess we can afford this since we will gain a credit from this. Okay. Audacity. So he's preparing for something really, really strong. Oh, I should have thrown the Hermes. I wasn't paying attention. I wasn't paying attention. Oh, well. Another card. Uh, oh. That's a 2-1. I've never seen one. I didn't know that they actually existed. So that's cool. And let's see. Still looking for, for a twinning since I can actually... Okay. Okay, so let's go this route. So no twinning. I at least have Carmen. But this is just looking a little bit tough. I will probably bypass HQ. Actually, I have a plan. Well, my plan just went to shit. Okay, so I will stall this, this, credit, credit, and I will throw the pinhole, the miss bones, the cat cradle, and the Hermes. I don't want to lose my inside job, so this is going to be hard. But, huh. So this solves a little bit of the problems. Oh, this is actually really good. So I can use this for this. Oh, I'm sorry. I did that on the wrong order. Because I want my... This one first to install this, then run HQ. And as you can see, I will win three credits, right? Right. And then I can install Carmen and begin running R&D. The pinhole training would have been useful to actually throw out the Manigarm now that I look at it. So that's my mistake. But of course we can always just spend two clicks we can also uh, do inside job on server 2 when we suspect that an agenda is coming. And yeah. Running on R&D is probably the best choice. And we have to remember that we saw two ablative barriers. And that's game, I think? Not really, right? Okay, so... Damn, we are neck to neck. This is what this deck was made of. Was made for, I'm sorry. And let's see. I think we can draw once. That was actually not very good. Since I don't know what I'm even looking for. But oh well, let's run on um, HQ. And let's run server two, just to see a card. Okay, I'm gonna pay three to trash that. 
I don't want that. So unless a, a server three is an agenda, which is not right, that's very good. I will be actually able to see a lot of cards on my next turn. How? Well, because I want to, f oh, that's not good. But, oh well. So he's protecting HQ. That's telling me something. That there's probably an agenda in there. So. I will run HQ. Because, of course, I have chess that I can just spend. I will fully break this and I will actually check server 8 I would assume I will suffer the core damage I will take the get keeper ablative all right let's look at server 8 it is a Rashida jackpot so now server 7 it's the great question, the big question. And unless I'm mistaken, I will be able to see a lot of cards from R&D on my next turn. How? Check this out. Oh, that's actually game. That's game. That was actually amazing. All right, GG. Well, as you could see, not all the matches were very well the first match was i just got run over um and on this one i was it was actually fairly more uh close uh he said that if actually i would have run um r and i would have won so as you can see this deck can do very good if you understand it a little bit more deeply than i do but it's actually a deck that you can you know be a little bit more competitive about it's a very good deck but i think the only downside is the lack of economy but anyways that was the video t of today on my next video i think i will be playing corporation again to show one of my other original decks and see what other decks i have in in store for you so thank you so much for watching uh this was a two Two losses on one video that's tough but i did my best and i will see you on the next video goodbye